Morning, fam. Well, I'll give you a quick look out before the sun sets. There's a bunch of folks down yeah on the beach. There's some kind of holiday this weekend. The uh, traffic is absolutely crazy. And you'll notice that you can't see the other side of the bay because it's hazy. That's pollution. Yeah, pollution. It's been really high the last few days, and it's not because they're, it's burning season. It's kind of weird. Well, last night it cleared up, and there was... I thought about coming down here. I was talking to Mimi and just seeing all the constellations and everything was really cool. That's not rain back there. It's not, it's, that's a uh, smog, smog. Uh, lots of people are in town and I love this view here, but I'm gonna, I'm actually kind of glad to move out of town because the traffic here is just insane. And we went and had tacos today. And they were good tacos. And then we went to my motorcycle place because I, I got a bunch of gadgets. I got a phone charger for my phone. Because if I when I go out and use my iPhone on a, for Google Maps or whatever, <clears throat> it runs the battery down. And uh, so I got one of those m mount things uh, so it charges and and I've got that <clears throat> I, I just bought that new uh, dash cam thing and I like that dash cam thing a lot actually should probably uh, download and upload but I there's two things that I don't like about it and I don't know how you all are but like for me I am kind of uh, OCD about certain things and I have to I finally found perfect mounting brackets that'll fit around the cameras and I'll lock them in place and then I can screw them to my frame so that they don't shake or like my front end shows my uh, front fender a little too much so I want to change it so I bought this other thing put it on the side and I've got it all ready to go but I gotta wait for the brackets to come in and they'll be in here in a couple of days. And then we went and had a, uh, we went to a uh, bakery <clears throat> and Michael posted his uh, pie that he had and Ron had some pie. I was too hot, it was like, it has been hot here. And I like rubbing that into all you people that are freezing. Uh, it's hot. I got the air conditioner on. Lily's freezing to death. She's going to Bangkok in a couple of days because her auntie's in town and uh, she's going to go see her sister. And <clears throat> then her sister's going to come here and stay for New Year's. And um, I, I don't know. We might be having a new addition to the household. Not sure. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what's going on. What's going on is uh, there, Myanmar is uh, a hot mess and there's a lot of people getting killed and I have a lot more to say about it. I would love to illuminate things for people <clears throat> but I'm. it would require me saying things that would be out of school and I ain't gonna say anything out of school here so I can say that uh, there's a lot of gunships that are not do uh, that are uh, shooting bullets and killing people and it's not good <clears throat> so anyway so that's going on and the United States is supporting uh, well, a genocide in uh, Gaza. I'm not real happy happy about that uh, at all, especially since we have American law that says that we can't support a nuclear power, but under the Symington Act, 
uh, or the Symington Amendment, uh, Joe Biden can sign an order saying this is in vital uh, national interest to make sure that Israel gets this military aid that we send. It's going to be, I think, $14.3 billion. So the <clears throat> Palestinians have lost 20,000 people, 9,000 children, and they're going to get 12-point-something billion dollars, which is four years and normally of the kind of aid that we get them. So they're getting a big fat check from Uncle Sam to kill children. And I'm, I'm not happy about it, not, not in the least. Uh, I see all these circumstances that are culminating in a, in a very real possibility of Joe Biden losing the election. And I will just say to all you all, uh, and I would bet money if anybody wants to bet me on it, <laughs> that Trump will fire his lawyers in time for them to delay the trials, all the trials, until after the election. And I don't give a whole lot of credence to polls, but I don't like polls because they generally call people who have tele. Uh, home telephone phone, uh, telephone numbers. And who has that? People who are technologically ignorant. And uh, that's usually older people and older people with uh, home phone numbers tend to be uh, Republicans. So they're kind of skewed, but I still don't like seeing Joe seven points behind in all the swing states. Uh, but the key thing for me is that 70% of people under the age of 35 disapprove Joe Biden. And uh, all the bad things that are coming to pass, all the right circumstances are coming together so that uh, we get a Trump again and I can't say how bad that would be I, it's really bad it would be really bad it would be the end of uh, American democracy and it's uh, just kind of strange to me to see that there's so many people that are doing it's not strange at all because I've been the people that are going to end the United States democracy are experiment in democracy or religious people and it's, of course, going to be religious people that do it. It's going to be uh, American Jews and American uh, Zionists who are hate Jews. Uh, I wish I could drum that into the heads of all the Jews I know that think that uh, these conservative Republicans that support Israel and do that, say that kind of shit, they hate you all. They they want you they want you all to start the war of Armageddon. They want Israel to kill all the Palestinians, start war with all the Arabs, and then Jesus shows up, raptures them up, and then you all get judged to go to hell, and then the Christians get to watch you all go to hell. Okay, yeah, and that's how stupid religion is. Uh, both of them, all of them. I'm, I'm an equal uh, hater of all of them. And uh, I wish there was some really good news besides... Uh, and uh, the stock market hit 37000 Great. Fantastic. Uh, and while dipshits are saying, well, isn't that fabulous? Let me tell you something. Uh, the Supreme Court gutting that uh, financial uh, uh, student loan forgiveness was a big damn deal. And since we've implemented the FICA credit scores and stuff, it's a whole lot harder for people to get a mortgage, to buy a house. In the United States especially, you can get a $2,000 uh, lease anywhere. 
but you can't get a $700 mortgage because if your credit score isn't good enough, if you've got those student loans and you want to try to do something, well, you know, these are things that were done 20 years ago to f or longer uh, to fuck everyone. And Democrats haven't done shit about it because we keep playing fiddle fuck around and find out. And uh, we have a gerontocracy that's in charge of the United States government, and they don't understand. They don't. They don't have the first inkling of what it means because they all benefited from the best efforts of their parents. And uh, the gerontocracy now doesn't give a shit. Uh, if you're having trouble getting a mortgage, they don't. Chuck Schumer does not give a fuck. Uh, he gives a fuck about getting that $14 billion to Israel so they can kill some more Palestinians. He doesn't give a fuck about regular Americans. And I'm sorry to uh, say things that be critical of my own party, but this is why things aren't changing. And Joe Biden, uh, I can, let me just, uh, j all, uh, all of the people on the National Security Council that are advising Joe uh, on Israel are Jewish. He doesn't have one Arab, not one, not one Palestinian. But uh, amazingly enough, there are more Arabs in the United States than there are Jews, okay? And like 23 million of them, 23 million Muslims in the United States. And Joe is kissing Netanyahu's ass and doesn't give a fuck how he looks to the uh, American Muslims. And that's a problem. It's a problem that's going to lose us Michigan. Michigan, gone. I don't think, I don't see how we're going to recover from that. And I would love for, to, you know, be able to be a soothsayer and say, well, this, this is, you know, everything's looking good. No. Doesn't look good to me at all. Uh, I'm not. I don't. I'm not a bullshitter, and y'all wouldn't uh, like it if I did start bullshitting you. This shit. He needs to end this shit. Uh, stop Netanyahu now. Instead of uh, constantly vetoing a, uh, I think America should be. Uh, not only should we declare, make it a ceasefire, we should sanction Israel for uh, killing 9,000 children. But the problem is with American Christians and dumb shit politicians like Joe Biden is that they think that Israeli interests are the same as American interests, and they're not. And nobody illuminates that more than the dumb shit. I cannot talk badly enough about Nikki Haley and her stupid idiotic and primitive fucking mind uh, that doesn't know anything thinks she knows something but she's dumb as absolute hog shit and uh, she thinks anti-Zionism is the same as anti-Semitism I can't tell you what a barbarous notion that is and uh, how it's going to cause, it's going, that's going to echo down uh, generations. Because uh, she said the quiet part out loud because that's her basic as fuck understanding. She doesn't have any kind of an education. Uh, and here's a news flash. If you want to be an educated person, you have to study your entire fucking life. You can't. You have to read books, read the newspapers, keep up on shit, and know when you're being lied to, think critically, and we don't want that. We want simple workers that go to church on Sunday and tithe. That's what, that's what all the conservatives want, and a lot of Democrats, too, want that shit because they're too afraid to come out and say, well, Christianity really sucks. And it hamstrings us and it would be able to do because it's a useful tool to oligarchs and the people that are fantastically wealthy in the United States to get poor people more accepting of, uh, bur uh, of their burden to keep the government functioning and running while all these other assholes like Elon Musk 
have $200 billion, which is so much money. It, it, you wouldn't believe me if I could tell you. It's, you know, you could spend a million dollars a day for decades and he wouldn't spend half that much. That's how much it, it is. But, um, and nobody needs that much money. And, uh, what are we going to do? Well, I don't know. We got to make sure that, uh, no matter what, Trump doesn't become president. And if that, and I'm at the point where I'm hoping something violent happens, uh, to him and, uh, the entire party, they don't deserve peace or contentment or to enjoy life because they're theocratic fascists and they want to make life miserable for everyone. And the rest of the world is, the rest of America is like, well, you know, we just live and let live. That's what the Bible says. Fuck off. Live and let live with Ron DeSantis and let that scumbag. Florida is not in good shape at all. Uh, just ask anybody how much, how, how, how they're paying on their house insurance right now. Or uh, how much, how's the construction industry going down in Florida? Or how's, uh, how much is orange juice right now? Literally every single thing that a Republican dreams up, thinks about, tries to implement is fucking terrible. There isn't one single good goddamn thing at all. They're all liars. Liz Cheney, too, and all of you assholes out there that are making her an even more bigger millionaire by buying her dumb fuck book. Uh, well, you're an asshole. And if you buy Adam Kinzinger book, you're an asshole. And if you buy Cassidy Hutchinson's book, you're an asshole. There's a lot of good books out there that you could read that would actually teach you something. And I don't know what the hell's the matter with you all where you all think, oh, well, let's <laughs> let's make Cassidy Hutchinson a millionaire for even though she's still a fucking Republican who wants women to be subjected to uh, uh, the whims of neo-fascist, theocratic, uh, absolutist who think that they should be in charge of a woman's body. It's like this is 2024 and these dumbasses have marched us backwards. And apparently you all aren't angry enough, women especially, because, you know, I posted that poll yesterday. It's a Bloomberg poll. But, uh, and Trump's ahead of Biden and everything. And I don't know who, who Biden's advisors are. I know some of his advisors, but they're fucking terrible. They're they're not good at their job. They're old pros, I know. And you know, we don't need an old man with an old man with old pros. We need. I mean, if we have to have an old man, we need some young pros that no shit and uh, can communicate with the younger people because. Uh, Millennials and Generation Z are the biggest single block, voting block there has ever been in the United States. And right now they're holding a giant middle finger up to Joe Biden saying, fuck you, we don't like any of this shit. And then we have all these old fucking boomers that work for the Washington Post and New York Times saying, hey, this is how universities have failed our kids. Steve Schmidt, I blocked that fucker too. I, I had it with him. American... Ivy League or, or, uh, colleges have failed our youth. No, they haven't. You just haven't bothered to get education and learn what young people are fucking learning now because uh, you've lost your neuroplasticity, Steve. And that's a problem, too. And um, young kids are not on this train where it's okay to kill 20,000 Palestinians in two fucking months, uh, including 9,000 children. Then we sit there and watch, there's that, uh, Janine, you can post it on there if you're watching this or whatever, but there's a, a former ranger that's posting uh, Israeli uh, IDF soldiers going into a house in Gaza. And you can just look at it, and they look like Mo, uh, Larry, and Curly. That's how dumb they are. These fucking idiots couldn't handle... Uh, a squad of recon marines, a, re a squad of recon marines would absolutely decimate these m dumb shits. Stupid would be uh, would be a, a compliment to what these fucking idiots are. They go in, they throw in grenades first, okay, 
and then they fill the room full with dust, okay? And then they go in shooting, and one guy's walking in front of the rifle of the other guy. There's videos of it. Just You can watch them on YouTube. And uh, these fucking IDF soldiers, you know, they're, well, Mossad's the best in the world. The IDF must be great. No, they're fucking idiots, and when it comes to combat, they're real e it's real easy to drop bombs from... 30,000 feet or push a button and do that kind of shit. But these fucking, the, their soldier are dumber and hog shit. And then they're, I posted that one video, those fucking assholes uh, going through people, burning food trucks. They're burning food trucks that were, were sent in for aid. And then they're going to this other shop and they're talking about this, how this one woman's a whore because she was selling, uh, our, she had a lingerie shop, so she's calling the one. These IDF soldiers are calling these women the the woman that owned the store whore, and every kind of other fucking horrible name. They set the food trucks on fire, and then they go through like a gift shop with Santa Claus, and you know that have the Christmas snow went in, and they're just going around breaking it. And they're not looking for Hamas terrorists. They're they're there to terrorize the populace, the population. And that's what they're doing. And I am 100% got a case of ass of Joe Biden doing and supporting this shit. And I don't know what happened to Israel. I don't know what happened to the people there that got them so fucked up in the head that they think they should. Uh, well, I, I know what it is. It's their religious idiots, too. And uh, any of them that you think that aren't idiots, because I, I I went to school with a bunch of them, and they were sure impressed with their fucking intellects, and any of them that think that they want to, uh, that I'm some dumb, dumb shit hick from Kentucky, well, you can come to me, and we'll find out who's got the goods, asshole. You can put your money where your mouth is. We'll find out real fucking fast. And... Um, that's a lot of old pent up hostility that I used to get from my classmates that were uh, not very kind. I'll just put it to you that way. But um, yeah, I I see uh, a bad moon rising. I see trouble on the way, and uh, I don't like it. I do not want some dumb fuck scumbag. Uh, mass murdering war criminal like Bibi Netanyahu to do something to bring down our election and put Trump back in office. And uh, it's looking like that to me now. Biden was cruising. He would, could have coasted through the next one until all this shit started. And Iran and uh, Russia, Putin knew this, and that's why they helped start this shit up. And uh, Americans are too fucking stupid to understand what they're trying to accomplish. What they're trying to accomplish is chaos in, in America and undermine the United States dollar so that the OPEC nations no longer trade on it and trade it instead with the Chinese yuan. And Americans aren't going to see this because this is five moves, uh, five moves ahead in chess. And Americans aren't even playing fucking checkers or playing chick tac toe. That's how fucking stupid everybody is. Not all y'all, but uh, I mean, every fucking Republican is a tic tac toe stupid player. They're not even playing checkers. They're dumber than fuck. And I mean, Tom Cotton and uh, Ted Cruz, all these, uh, all these fucking Harvard educated fucking morons. And I'm not going to coddle their fucking idiocy or lunacy. Uh, they're craving pieces of shit that should be stood up and executed for treason as far as I'm concerned um, but this is the world we're living in and all I can do is try to get you guys sobered up to it and uh, I it, I made my exit I made my exit I live here now I live in Thailand I it, I live in a, I moved from the United States to a military dictatorship and the military di dictatorship has retired, and it's no longer a military dictatorship, but there's a lot more freedom here than the United States. It's a lot better here 
the cost of living is better. I can go see a doctor here. Couldn't do that in the United States. And uh, you don't realize what a, a third world country the United States is until you get out of it. I mean, if you're uh, wealthy and you can afford all that shit, uh, more power to you. I'm happy for you. Uh, but uh, I still see that bad moon rising. So anyway, I'm gonna go in. I do have a pretty good, the, the smog here is absolutely terrible right now. Look, I, I can even, it, it doesn't show it as well on my uh, iPhone here, but I mean, look across the bay, you see how that, how, how smoggy it is, it's absolutely terrible. I wish it would make it cooler, at least it's been, hot hot but next week's supposed to be cooling off or so but we're doing some Christmas stuff and uh, yeah I'm an atheist that does Christmas stuff uh, it's not because I believe in Jesus or any of that other dumb shit but anyway looks like they're doing something over there I don't know what looks like they're I don't know but uh, I hope y'all have a good weekend and uh, carpe diem.